G'day, James here from jimmyrose.me and uh, today I just wanted to go into this new feature that Active Campaign have announced uh, that they are working on. I'm not sure of a release date yet, uh, but this is really exciting uh, for me and uh, I think many, many of you guys as well. Uh, because I've seen so many people lately talking about trying to get away from intercom for various reasons. It's usually like pricing, um, because a lot of people have been getting hit with these messages from intercom saying your bill's going up like fivefold, uh, in the next couple of months, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I've seen people complaining in all kinds of Facebook groups in private communities, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and I don't know, I feel like Active Campaign might have lost the plot. I mean, Intercom might have lost the plot a little bit, or they're just going enterprise and don't really care about, I guess, our smaller players. Something, I don't know, they seem to annoy, have annoyed a lot of people. I'm one of them. Um, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the product anyway. It does a lot of things really well, but there's so many things I feel a product for its price should do better that active campaign really does well. Um, and so that the, at the moment, we're actually using Intercom and active campaign, uh, Intercom for certain things like on-site messaging uh, and chat and that sort of stuff. That's, that's pretty much it at the moment. Uh, onboarding, everything else goes through active campaign because the automation capabilities are just so much better. So, I mean, I've been looking at a lot of other products uh, that just do conversations to see if we can get that part dialed. And I haven't found anything that I really like that much yet. Uh, mostly because of modals, actually. That's the one feature that I've never been able to find uh, in, in other apps. So as an example, that's like this here. So uh, you can trigger a message to take over the screen. Uh, and I use that in a couple of places in onboarding. It's only a couple of places, but I've, I really like that feature. Um, thankfully, Active Campaign's existing feature site messaging can already do this. Uh, so I assume now uh, when they add conversations, you'll actually be able to reply to it properly uh, and create a conversation in Active Campaign. We don't really have a whole lot to go on yet other than this screenshot. Uh, you can see it looks very similar to Intercom and other chat apps. So I've got high hopes. Um, it'd be really cool if they nail this um, and I will be over in a heartbeat. So just to sort of give you a bit of a rundown on uh, why I like Active Campaign for the automation and, and, and why I like it so much more than Intercom and most other tools uh, for a few areas. So um, the main thing in Intercom is it's just really poor automation and filtering. So, I mean, the, the best automation you can get in Intercom is this. I think this, the smart campaigns, and I think they're on like one of the premium versions of I don't know. There's like three or four different parts to intercom and this is like the premium part to one of them. I think it's called messaging. I don't know. That's quite complex pricing. Anyway, uh, you've got to pay a bunch to get this feature and all it is is send a bunch of emails or messages in a row a couple of days apart um, and this is how we exit them from the campaign. Like that, and that's it. Like this kind of automation has been available in most tools since like 2008. And it's, you know, this is MailChimp level stuff. This isn't automation as far as I'm concerned. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much just sending a message to uh, very basic uh, like filtering options, right? So set some custom fields, maybe a date. Um, and if they match all of these rules, then that gets sent. And that's it. Like that's the pretty much all the automation you have, right? So, and, and the thing that blows my mind is it's, it's all of these rules or any of these rules. That's it. There's no other option, right? So if you want to build like a slightly more complex, uh, set of criteria to send out like this and this, or this and this, you can't do that in intercom. And I've had issues with that so many times uh, that I have I just had to give up and, and basically do something that I wasn't ideal. So an active campaign uh, on the automation front, well actually first that we've got the filtering here, you can create segments of groups, uh, sorry, segments of your customer base with uh, ors and ands and any basically combination of them. It's much, much more powerful. Uh, and then you can use those segments when you're going to send out an email. Uh, so that's very handy, but the automations are where it just absolutely destroys intercom. So, uh, 
I mean, there's a couple of examples where, you know, in Intercom, it's just email, next, email, next, email, and that's it. Whereas this, we've got like branching based on if then conditions, you know, delays, we can jump to other sections. This is this is a very basic one. So, you know, at this point, this is basically an intercom automation here. It's just waiting, <laughs> send another email waiting. But um, then we can pass people off into other automations when this is complete. Or, um, you know, if someone clicks a link in one of these emails, uh, another automation might cancel this one and start doing something else so you've just got so much more capability when it comes to automations um you know all kinds of stuff you can you can use uh automations to send webhooks out uh you know catch them in zapier and do other things um it you know between zapier and active campaign you can automate pretty much anything uh intercom not so much as an example in our onboarding uh, we have a link that goes out in the emails that says uh, that they can cancel just the onboarding sequence. And the reason I do that is because uh, if I want to, like, if I sign up for a product and I don't want the onboarding sequence, I want to be able to just cancel the onboarding. I still want to get product updates and that kind of thing. In Intercom, it's basically one unsubscribe link. You hit that, you're never getting anything from them again. Uh, so I don't want to do that to my, uh, our users. So I give them options, you know, they can click on a link, uh, they might be able to cancel onboarding, but they might be able to opt into the podcast or something like that at the same time. You can give those kind of options, uh, which you just can't do in Intercom. I mean, the other thing that's, that's obviously better in Active Campaign is, is pricing. So contact pricing is much better in Active Campaign. Intercom tends to ramp up uh, their pricing really, really quickly. Um, you know, and that's why I've seen a lot of people trying to move. But um, I guess the main thing I wanted to quickly go over, because it's not all uh, sunshine and rainbows, there is one thing that Active Campaign doesn't do very well that I like, uh, and that it, sorry, that I don't like, that I like in Intercom, is the co uh, companies feature. So in Intercom, you can have multiple users grouped under a company, and that makes sense, or well, we do this, because, uh, the company might hold the subscription, right? They're, they're the ones paying for the uh, the tool and then you have multiple users under that. So that's an example of some data that really doesn't belong at the contact level. That to me is something that should go along with the, the company, like how long they've signed up for, they've been signed up for, like maybe how many users they have, whatever. Uh, you can do that in Intercom. Whereas in Active Campaign the only way to link contacts through a company is this organization field and it's just a piece of text. So uh, you might have the company name, you know, as Bob's Tractors or whatever, and then you can see any anyone who's under that organization, but that's it. You can't store any data with that organization, which kind of sucks. So I'm not sure how we're going to get through that yet, whether we just store it on a contact level as well. Uh, and just have a contact that is the, the actual company. Um, not totally sure yet, uh, you know, whether we need to have users inside the email automation system is, is another question. You know, maybe this logical separation that we have now between a chat app and active campaign is still going to be good, but it would be nice to have it all together. It's really gonna depend what this implementation looks like. But yeah, and, and the, the last thing actually, which is why I love active campaign is because if you are using a uh, CRM, like Pipedrive or something, uh, in your business, there is actually a, a CRM built into Active Campaign, so it might even replace you know more than just Intercom, you know, because uh, you get your classic Kanban style uh, thing, which you can see here. So a deal, this is all blurred out. It's our old website business, but you can have any you know, pipeline you want and drag and drop these uh, deals throughout the stages and then actually trigger automations based on that. So back in this one, so you could say if a deal has moved from stage X to Y, then we trigger an automation and you can even move deals uh, as an action. So we could say, you know, after a couple of days, if they've clicked an e a link in an email or something, then automatically move them to another uh, stage in the pipeline and assign it to Bob to cr and create a task for him to follow up. You know, you can do all that kind of stuff in automations in Active Campaign. So I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this because these conversations, because if they get it right, then, I mean, we're pretty much down to just using Active Campaign for our, our CRM and automation and conversations. And I mean, I'm, I've loved Active Campaign for ages. So to have it all in there is going to be awesome. 
Um, if you want to check it out now, uh, it's actually a really good time. If you go to csnare.com slash uh, AC deal, uh, this is my referral link. I'll put that on the video as well. Um, but they have a pretty good sweet deal going right now. Um, you get a, a second month free and some two on ones. Uh, so two free one on ones with the active campaign team and a free migration, which is awesome. These guys never really run deals. Uh, so to see this is good, good time to get in. Um, this might be over by the time you see this video, but um, I'm actually going to throw in an hour of my uh, time as well if you go through my link. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I'm going to have to limit this. I'm going to say maybe about 20 people because I kind of don't want to lose my January. After that, I'm planning on releasing an active campaign course. Uh, and if you, hopefully it's done by the time you see this um, and you'll get that for free. Uh, it's going to have all the best practices that I use to set up new accounts because uh, I'm an active campaign consultant. Um, I've learned a few things that I pretty much think every account should have set up or at least some, some tips and tricks uh, that a lot of people don't know about uh, just to get your account set up right. So um, you get an hour of consultation or um, the course for free uh, if you use my link. And the way to get in contact with me if you do sign up is to go to jimmyrose.me slash contact. Uh, or just go to jimmyrose.me and find the contact button. But send me your subdomain in active campaign once you've signed up. That's this part here before the active hosted and then uh then i know you've signed up and we can organize a uh a chat so yeah that's all i wanted to talk about today hopefully this excites you as much as it excites me but yeah see you in the next video